don't stretch him out or work the hip, the hip flexors out, uh, he, he gets really stiff because he sits in the patrol car because like he doesn't chase bad guys. <laughs> he runs them over. <laughs> <laughs> and no, it's not true. Cops do not eat donuts. Do you eat donuts? I try to stay away from them. I love them. <laughs> Me too. I'm a normal person. D. All right, so big D here. Uh, Phoenix PD. Uh, so for how many years were you, you been on the force? Almost 20. Uh, so the belt, the gun, the radio, pretty much all the stuff that he has to carry around every day has created a muscle imbalance in his hip where his right hip um, tends to tighten up a lot and that leads into his back um, creating a lot of tightness. So then there'll be days where he can kind of barely like move around and stuff. Uh, so we do a lot of exercises uh, focusing on that hip on the right side, um, a lot of stretches, mobility, a lot of mobility stuff. Um, we've kind of gone away from the weights for a little bit because he, he, he's a big guy, he's strong, we, we know that. So, pretty much, it's been all pyelometric stuff, uh, you know, squats, uh, push ups, um, core, um, a lot of glute exercises to kind of strengthen all that that area up from his back and everything but um, it's been it's been a he's made a huge improvement he does pretty well people like him he's 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 been a power lifter he's been in shape his whole life he's actually stayed active his whole life uh, like I was saying on the other video some people hire you to have a schedule to come in and see you some people hire you because they need the knowledge some people hire you because they actually see that you're actually helping them get better. So that's one of the biggest things. And that's where I say never stop learning. Because like today, I, we did a new stretch that I just learned that I was uh, YouTubing and reading about. And would you say that you, you felt it? Definitely the first time. So it was a good, different stretch. So that's, that's the thing. It's just, you know, always, always learn, man. Never stop learning. All right, we're gonna do sumos going that way. Down, come in. And then squeeze on top. Yep. I remember when I first started, <laughs> I could barely lift anything. It was it was bad. I could uh, I needed help to lift the bar <laughs> on a bench press. It's actually pretty embarrassing. But uh, now, throw more than 25 on there, doing it easy. So. Strength-wise, I feel like I'm like 10 times stronger than I was before. So he's really helped me improve myself. He's been not only a, an amazing trainer for me, it helped me get uh, my self-esteem up, helped me get my muscles up, get my strength up. He's also been an amazing role model. Really taught me the way to go when it comes to other people. Really treat everyone nicely, you know, and have confidence in yourself. So, that's so why I'm grateful for him too. That's, that's what I mean is that like, there's gonna be like all walks of life that are gonna come and, you know, you're, uh, I wanna say, need your help. Um, there's people that have been athletes their whole life, but they still need that appointment to make sure that they make it to the gym all the time. Uh, there's gonna be people that need the information, that need to learn how to do an exercise properly. And there's gonna be, you know, kids like him that their parents want them to be more successful in, in life in, in general. So, you know, get them to train, to train with me. When they first start, I trained him and his sister. They're both, you know, young. Um, they used to train three times a week with me. Now they're playing sports. He got into volleyball after he never played sports. So you play volleyball, right? On the yeah. So, you know, uh, fitness changes a lot of things. Um, you know, builds your self-esteem. Uh, just makes you more confident and stuff. And, and as you can see, he's, he's a completely different person. He actually 
took a girl to prom. And uh, that's what his parents were worried about is that he's very, very shy and you know, was always uh, locked in his room. So, I mean, being a trainer, you're able to change a lot of people's lives, man. And, and you know, and it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. But like I said, you have to really, really love your job because you're going to spend a lot of hours here. And you're really not going to be making that much money. Those trainers that make all that money are the ones that train all those superstars in Hollywood. I ain't, I don't train those superstars. I train the average show. Tears. You should know I never had a fear. You should know I never had a shot.